Sup peeps, Earl here of Yuga Tech and I'm sure you've already watched our Xiaomi 14 video review but if you haven't, you can watch it here, 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 here. And today, we're showing you its big brother, the Xiaomi 14 Ultra. I won't spill a long intro, so let's go. Let's talk about the design and construction. Just like its predecessor, expect the Xiaomi 14 Ultra to be on the thicker and heavier side because it weighs at 219.8 grams. This is mostly due to the 1-inch type sensor used as the main camera and the three other Sony IMX858 sensors, which might be way smaller in size but still require additional space. Compared to the Xiaomi 13 Ultra and the Xiaomi 12S Ultra, the Xiaomi 14 Ultra is a bit lighter, although it has gotten a bit thicker as well. And that doesn't include the protruding camera module so you get an idea how thick this device is. And when making phone calls, sending texts, or using the internet, one hand may still comfortably hold the phone. But you will certainly notice the heavy camera bump when you hold it horizontally to watch movies or play games. It's not the most comfortable grip, particularly if you spend a lot of time playing games. The design of the Xiaomi 14 Ultra was inspired by the Centennial Classic Leica M10P. Its rear panel is made of the newest vegan leather nanotechnology, which promises to be antibacterial and stain resistant. Naturally, there are no issues with fingerprints or smudges on the back. Actually, you can use this gadget easily with or without a cover on. But I prefer my to have it. You can see at the left side of the device the antenna buttons alone. The right side has a volume rocker and textured power button. At the top, you'll see the second speaker grill while the bottom of the device has the USB Type-C charging port, main speaker grill, primary mic, and SIM card slot. The IR blaster and the backup noise cancelling microphone are actually placed within the camera module, which is somehow not obvious. By the way, the device doesn't wobble because of the symmetrical placement of the camera box. These glass metal leather material in a symmetric design approach has had intimate association with the Xiaomi Leica partnership. In a way, it has become their signature design for the Ultra series. The Xiaomi 14 Ultra comes with the same 6.73 inch LTPO AMOLED display with native resolution of up to 1440 by 3200 pixels. Although you can set it down to Full HD Plus to save on battery life. It has support for Dolby Vision HDR10 Plus with a peak brightness of up to 3000 nit, which is so bright. The display is impeccable, very clear and crisp, colors are vivid and accurate, has very high contrast with a wide level brightness that is still very usable even in the outdoors or under direct sunlight. I actually find it cool because there is a sunlight mode where the display further adjusts the brightness under the very bright environments. Just to be clear, it's different from the auto brightness we usually know. So yeah. You can also set it to adaptive refresh rate from a hertz to 120 hertz if you want to have a smoother experience. Or simply leave it at 60 hertz if you want to save on battery life. The glass protection on Xiaomi 14 Ultra is crafted from Xiaomi Shield glass. This glass incorporates all new materials, forming an interlocking structure through high temperature sintering. It curves around the edges and fuses into the metal frame. We're not sure how the Xiaomi Shield glass compares with Corning's Gorilla Glass but we're hoping they'd be more or less the same. The Xiaomi 14 Ultra supports both face and fingerprint unlock for biometrics. You also have to press firmly on the screen so it can register the fingerprint but it is fast and accurate. We prefer it better than face unlocking. The Xiaomi 14 Ultra also comes with stereo speakers that are found at the bottom and top side. The audio here is pretty loud as in. Sound clarity is great, well-defined, and crisp with support for Dolby Atmos. There is enough bass but nothing spectacular. Xiaomi also claims a 4-mic array that allows for better noise cancellation or voice isolation for making calls or recording yourself for videos and vlogs. This phone is an ultra because of the monstrous quadruple camera setup. A few of other Xiaomi phones use the 1-inch type sensor, the Xiaomi 12S Ultra, 13 Pro and 13 Ultra models. This time around, the Xiaomi 14 Ultra packs the latest one Sony LYT900. The three cameras utilize a 50 megapixel Sony IMX858 sensor with varying lens capabilities. The ultra wide lens with an equivalent 12mm at 1.8 aperture, another floating telephoto camera with equivalent 75mm 1.8 aperture, and OIS capability. And finally, a periscope telephoto camera with equivalent 120mm and 2.5 aperture. So expect the same level of quality from all three cameras, regardless of whether you zoom in, shoot wide, or capture a macro. This is because of all three sensors are the same Sony IMX858. In addition to primary camera which can capture stunning daytime images as well as detailed nighttime or low light photographs. All three cameras are capable of macro photography at varying focal length. Take a look at a few of the example photos below.
In portrait mode, you get creamy bokeh in the background with a default 1.8 aperture that you can still adjust in the photo app from 16 to 1 aperture. However, we notice the software has a hard time with edge detection on the strands of the hair of the subject. As for video recording, the camera can shoot at a maximum of 8K at 30 frames per second, but if you want Dolby Vision or HDR video, you can shoot them up to 4K at 60 frames per second. Sup peeps, I'm currently using the Xiaomi 14 Ultra and I'm recording myself with its front-facing camera at a resolution of 4K at 60 frames per second. So how is it? And now I'm using the rear camera to record myself at a resolution of 4K and 60 frames per second. So tell me your thoughts about the camera capabilities of this phone. For slow motion clips, you can crank it up to 1080p at 120 frames per second or 4K at 120 frames per second. For selfies, you get a decent 32 megapixel 2.0 aperture EIS front camera with a 90 degree field of view. It can also record HDR Dolby Vision up to 4K at 30 frames per second and at native 4K at 60 frames per second. Right out of the box, the Xiaomi 14 Ultra comes with pre-installed HyperOS, which, as we stated our earlier review of the Xiaomi 14, isn't that much different compared to MIUI 14, at least on the surface. You get the same look, a few cosmetic changes, and Android 14 right out of the box. Good thing it didn't come with a lot of bloater except for Netflix, Amazon Shopping, Spotify, Facebook, and LinkedIn. And nothing unfamiliar you have to uninstall anyway. Just like the Xiaomi 14 we reviewed last month, the Xiaomi 14 Ultra also packs the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset with an Adreno 750 GPU. The chipset uses a single-core high-performance ARM Cortex-X4 running at the maximum clock speed of 3.3 GHz, a triple-core ARM Cortex-A720 at 3.15 GHz, a dual-core ARM Cortex-A720 at 2.96 GHz, and a power-efficient dual-core ARM Cortex-A520 at 2.26 GHz. This is paired with super fast 16 gig of LPDDR5 X RAM and 512 gig of UFS 4.0 internal storage with no external storage options available. This hardware combo makes the Xiaomi 14 Ultra perform very well. You can load up a couple dozen apps or games it will not even show, thanks to the 16 gig of RAM and additional 6 gig of extended RAM. Benchmark scores are also over the top with Antutu scores hitting above 2 million points. As expected, the Xiaomi 14 Ultra comes with a plethora of connectivity options. This compromises an infrared blaster, dual nano SIM supporting 5G NFC, Bluetooth 5.4, and Wi-Fi 7. The Xiaomi 14 Ultra comes with only 5,000 mAh of battery. And though that doesn't seem much considering the size and thickness of the device, it is enough to get you through the day. We also tested it for gaming so we played a couple of brand games in Mobile Legends that lasted a total of 18 minutes with 6% of battery drained at 50% brightness and 50% volume music Wi-Fi connection. So that translates to about 5 hours of total game in a single full charge, not as good as the Xiaomi 14 in the same tip. So we come to the conclusion of this review. Really talk show. If you want an impressive camera system like the Xiaomi 14 Ultra that will come with a price not just in pesos but also in grams and millimeters. If you can get past that inconvenience, then you are in for a big treat as the Xiaomi 14 Ultra is all that it promises to be. A very powerful device, impressive display, and a camera powerhouse with that unique Leica treatment. Unfortunately, the Xiaomi 14 Ultra will not be released in the Philippines. It looks like we're stuck with just the base Xiaomi 14 on our shores. Maybe it's too expensive for Xiaomi PH to carry it in our market? We can only guess. Nevertheless, it's one heck of smartphone worthy of the flagship title. So. What do you think about the Xiaomi 14 Ultra? Are you impressed with the camera? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you find this video helpful or informative, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also don't forget to follow us on our socials, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, or X, and visit yougetech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Again, this has been Earl, and see you guys in the next one. Bye!